Hello, friends. It is November 9th, and we are going uh, to go through the Gospel of John. We are on chapter 17 today, so I invite you to join us. Um, MyHT.HigherThings.org for the stream of this, which is being restreamed on Facebook and um, will later be posted on YouTube. I hope you, I hope you had a great weekend. Um, I know I did. Uh, I will not be here on Friday and Monday of next week. Uh, Pastor Aaron Frinker will be covering those. Um, I'm moving into a house. Closing is Friday. And um, I think I need to take a few days to unpack boxes or pack boxes and then move them. It, it'll work out. Uh, so pretty excited about that. <clears throat> And away we go. A couple of things and then we'll get started. Uh, remember, this is a discussion, so I'll be watching comments on multiple platforms to make sure that I can answer your questions. But um, the, the, the stream I'll be watching more closely is the myht.higherthings.org one. Um, it's time to get to used to um, that move, but um, I will be trying to watch both of them. All right, let's get this let's get this party started. Um, let's get this party started. <clears throat> Is this a song ready? That's a that's a song, isn't it? Linda, yeah, it's gonna be. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm I'm. Uh, um, it's amazing that we um, survived living on top of each other. That's insane. All right. <clears throat> Let's get rolling. After Jesus had said these words, he lifted up his eyes to the heavens, to heaven, and said, Father, the hour has come. What hour? You know. We've talked about this the whole time. You know what hour has come. You know what Jesus is talking about. What's the hour? Don't miss this. Don't skate over it. While you're thinking about it, um, the last verses that he said was, um, I've said these things that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart. No, 16. 16. Not 17. I jumped the gun there. Wow. Got to watch me coming off a weekend. I've said these things to you to keep you from falling away. No, it's 17, isn't it? Yeah, we're starting on 17, right? A new note to... Um, yeah, 17. I'm losing my mind. Don't mind me. I don't know where I'm started or where I'm going. Here we go again. Father, the hours come. Glorify your son that your son may be glorified in you. No, I think we're in the middle of 16. Yep, we're in the middle of 16. Yep, yep, I see where we are. Sixteen, sixteen. Now I know where I am. A little while longer, you'll see me no longer. And again, in a little while, you will see me. Um... Left off at 16. Uh, Son, you need to be more specific on that. So like, I want you to just know that I'll read and I prepare and I read and I prepare and then I forget what I've done. I don't know if that happens to you, um, but it happens to me. So it happens to me all the time. Um, glad we put our faith in Christ. Uh, 16, 7, she says. All right. How to waste six minutes of Bible study without knowing where you're supposed to be. All right. Now that we are where we're supposed to be. Thank you. Um, um, Thank you. 
so I said I was going away and none of you asked where I was going, but now that I'm going away, sorrow has filled your heart. Because I've said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you, it is to your advantage that I go away. Now I remember, if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him. So this is all about everything God does, he does for you. Thanks, Tim. I, I, I am so absent-minded that I will literally forget my brain if it's not attached. Which adds a new job for Cindy. Cindy has to remember... Um, where we stopped. All right. Um, but if I go away, I will send him to you. So if I don't go away, I won't send him to him. It means if I do go away, I will send him to him, to you. And uh, we talked about the filioque, the and the son, the little bit of the creed that was added by the Western church, rejected by the Eastern church. Uh, the Western church had, had, had solid scriptural ground for the change, but they should have gathered everybody together for the change. It's like someone declaring a president before all the votes are counted. It's 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 everybody participates in the in the creed. It's a universal creed, and for some one side, one 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 group of individuals to change the creed without the other group of individuals being involved in it, we have we can understand their problem. But the change is right. Okay, the spirit proceeds from the Father and the Son, so it's to your advantage that I go away because of the spirit. Because of the spirit. Um, because of the spirit. And this is a, um, this is an, a Lenten text, I think. No, it's an, it's an Easter text. This text is used, um, in the middle of the Eastern season in the one year lectionary, what comes up next. Um, and when he comes, he will convict the world concerning three things concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. So when you go, okay, what's that mean? Well, he's going to tell you. So it's three things concerning sin, righteousness, and judgment. Concerning sin, because they do not believe in me. And this is very important. This is very, very, very important. The first commandment is the root of all sin. All sin flows from a first commandment problem. If we could just keep the first commandment, we could keep them all. And generally what's funny about this is that no one, no one contemplates that the first commandment is a problem. No one does this. No one. The sixth commandment's a problem. The fifth commandment's a problem. Abortion and people sleeping with people they're not supposed to be sleeping with. That's the problem. Okay? That's the problem. But in actuality, the first commandment is the, is the root problem for all of them. We misuse his name. Uh, we don't hallow, hallow his day. We, don't, we despise the preaching and teaching of God's word. We misuse his name. We don't honor our parents. We live indecent lives. We murder and harm people. I got those commandments confused. Stay with me, though. Still waking up. Um, we, um, we, we steal. We gossip. We push others down so we, can, um, so we can bring others up. Exactly right, Maggie. Did God really say that? And then we covet everything under the sun because we don't believe we have a Father in Heaven who loves us and cares for us. If we did believe that we had a Father in Heaven who loved us and cared for us, then we would... We would call upon him in every trouble, pray, praise, and give thanks. We would, we would, we would cherish his words and promise. Cherish the word. Um, the, we would, in the fourth commandment, we would honor mom and dad as gifts from God. Um, we would, we would not only not hurt or harm our neighbor, but we help and support them in every physical need. We would lead a, a decent life in all that we say and do, and husbands and wives would love each other. If we believe the gospel, then we would not only not steal, but we would help improve people's possessions and income. If we believe the gospel, if we believe that we had a father in heaven, then we would we would put the best construction on, on everything and, and say everything about our neighbor in the kindest way, and we would be content with what we have.
Oh, Pastor Rake is parting out the tenses of the participles. Um, he will convict the world. Um, his coming. Okay, uh, Pastor Rake, I'm a little confused. That's an aorist participle. Um, are you looking at a? Um, are you looking at um, a, 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 a perhaps a? Um, we, do we have a text difference? He will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. Concerning sin, because listen to this. Now, here's your present. Because they don't believe in me. Notice, he will do this because we presently don't. Isn't Elthone a, an heiress, brother? I, I've been wrong before, I, and I'm okay with being wrong. Obviously, I started on the wrong verse. I I want to get, you know what the problem is? I think I think in my mind all week long, I 18 is my favorite ver, my, my favorite chapter, and I think all week long I was I was um, I was contemplating the reality that I was going to give the keys to my favorite chapter to the young pup Dean of theology and that, that, um, that I was going to, um, I was going to, um, I was going to, and, and I was going to miss out on my favorite, my favorite section where, where, um, the dominoes all fall and Jesus says, I am, and they all fall down. Um, and, and so my, my mind is trying to push me along to get to 18 by Thursday, which I think is utterly impossible, especially if I talk to you about getting to 18 by Thursday. Concerning sin, because they don't believe in me. I'm going to check that. I'm going to check for a variant there, um, Pastor Rake, because I, 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 I don't believe you're wrong. Um, I don't want to believe you're wrong, uh, but I'm not going to trust in princes, so I'll see whether or not there's a variant. Uh, especially with the present tense in nine, it, it sort of... It's possible that the that the aorist is a, but it doesn't appear to be one, at least um, in what I'm looking at. Concerning sin, because they don't believe in me, not because they do bad things. This is very important. Notice it's not that I'm going to convict the world concerning sin because they do bad things. No. No. They, they... They, um, um, the answer is they don't believe in me. Can it be so simple that believing in the son, you have life. That is 16 chapters of the gospel of John. It is this simple. Believe in Jesus and you have life. Don't believe in Jesus and you don't. It's that simple. As I wreck your screen. Can't get it. The edge. There we go. 16 chapters of it. That's what we've had. Concerning judgment because they don't believe in me concerning concern I'm sorry concerning sin because they don't believe in me concerning righteousness because I go to the father and you will see me no longer righteousness isn't determined by how you act. Righteousness and unrighteousness is not determined by, uh, by how you act. He doesn't say concerning righteousness because you got your stuff together. Be 
concerning righteousness because I go to the Father and you will see me no longer. This is Calvary talk. Before its ascension talk. It's Calvary talk. Before its ascension, it's Calvary talk. Be- concerning sin, because you don't believe me. Concerning righteousness, because I'm going to the cross. I'm going to suffer and die. And you're not going to see me anymore. Again, these two things say the same thing. Believe in Jesus, have life. Believe in Jesus, be righteous. We seek this righteousness in and of ourselves and we will never find it. We will never find it. We'll never find it. We're going to look for it, but we're not going to find it. You want to find the righteousness of God? Sir, we would see Jesus a few chapters previous. I go to the Father and you will see me no longer. And it's not going to be a problem that you're going to see me no longer because I'm going to send the Spirit. And remember the hour. That's what began this. The hour has come. We are now two chapters from Jesus being seized. And as much as I try to get there faster than a speeding bullet, And concerning judgment. Again, concerning judgment, not you're a bad person and I'm finally going to judge you. That's not what this says. Because of the ruler of this world. Now now check the, the, the tenses on this. Because you present won't see me anymore. Um, because I present tense go to the Father. And this is what Tim, what Pastor Rake was was sort of trying to um, was trying to sort of push us through. And concerning judgment, then a tense change. That is a perfect. So concerning sin, because you don't believe in me in the present. Concerning judgment, because I'm going to the Father. I no, I I go to the Father. Like this cross, this death, this resurrection is so right now for Jesus that he present tenses it. But when it comes to the devil, and this is maximum comfort for you, for us who get the devil's whispers all night long, all night, all night, we get the devil's whispers all night long. Hey, buddy, you want to get your bed? Get your bed. What a good boy you are. My poor little guy. So you got to understand that um, the uh, oh you don't get to see him. You got to understand that <clears throat> the um, my 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 administrative assistant has a puppy, and the puppy is crying. And Thor goes to the door, and he already dislikes the administrative assistant. So Thor goes to the door to let the let let the secretary know that um, he's not pleased with the treatment of this puppy, whom he's never met, you know, because yeah. Concerning judgment, because the ruler of this world, the archon of the universe, ke kre tai. Uh, action which has been completed in the past has been judged. And that too, Maggie. Um, he's, um, my dog is a little stressed because there are more and more boxes to climb. I still have a lot to say to you, but you cannot bear it now. And that makes sense. 
Again, I made mention of it on on Friday. I do remember this. You must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. Um, I do remember this from Friday that um, ah, Nathan, his judgment is perfect. Um, I do remember this that I told you that I like to go over the vows in advance with with couples because they aren't listening to a thing when it happens. Okay. Um, and here too, uh, let's be honest. They're, they're not capable of handling what's going to happen in the next two chapters. And so if he was, were to speak to them now, it'd just be um, I still have many things, but you're not able to bear them now. When the Spirit comes, when the Spirit of Truth comes, He will lead you into all truth. So, how do you find truth? Where do you find truth? Do you come up with truth on your own? How's that happen? <laughs> um, how does that happen? How does that go down? Well, it goes down really simple. The Spirit gives you truth. See, the truth is, is not only that 2 plus 2 is 4, and 4 plus 4 is 8, and 8 plus 8 is 16, and 16 plus 16 is 32, and 32 plus 32 is 64. That's not the truth. That's not the only truth in the universe. We like the science. Well, there's a greater truth than all of that, and it doesn't disagree with those other truths. Um, and that's the truth that God loves you in the giving up of his son. Um, he loves you, Calvary and Easter much. And the Spirit of Truth, whom, whom the Father will send, will guide you, lead you into all truth. And the truth that he's going to lead you in is Jesus. His words, his promises, his, his life, his salvation, the whole lot of it, as Nagel would say. Not just law. Oh, we love it to be law. Ooh, we need it to be law. Because we want that law for those people who need that law. You know, those people, the, 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 those people, you know the ones. Come on, man, you know the ones. You know, maybe this thing isn't so bad. I mean, I, I've got the come on man thing down. And I don't know where I am. So I'm like a walking impersonation of a presidential candidate. Can you hear the screams of, of Sandra Madden? I can. He will guide you in all truth, for we will not speak of his own authority. But whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. Should we read this as causative? Um, Nathan, I, I, I want to I want to know what you think that would be translated as. As I'm trying to sort of sit here and translate that, um, when the Spirit of Truth comes, He will lead you. Um, it, I, I, I think it's more of like a uh, well, um, it's like the Spirit comes and then he, and if then you know if this well. When he comes, he will then do this. Um, for and and the reason why he will he will then do this is he's not going to speak of his own authority. So he's not going to talk about his opinion, his thoughts. There's a there's a causative right there. Um, he will he will not speak of his own thoughts. 
But what he hears, he will he will speak and he will announce what's to come. And what's to come is salvation in Jesus Christ. Don't immediately go to, it's the end of the world as we know it, and Thor feels fine. No, don't go there first. Don't go there first. That's not the place to go first. He will glorify me. because What does it mean that he will glorify me? He will take what is mine. Verse 11. Um, I think haughty is because. Um, the reason why he convicts the world concerning judgment. Uh, he convicts the world of sin righteousness and judgment. The reason why he convicts the world is because it's already happened. Nathan, I agree with you. Because it's already happened that the ruler of this world stands judged. And he will glorify me. Why? So how's the father glorified? How's the son glorified? Maggie's singing a hymn. And I will raise you up on eagle's wings. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to declare the suffering and death of Jesus. He will take what is mine, my holy life and my bitter sufferings and death, and he will agalay it. Anagalay it. He will announce it. He will proclaim it to you. All that the Father has is mine. Think about that. The Father doesn't keep anything from the Son. The Father gives all things into his hands. Think about that. Think about that. I have a new goal. Um, I think I have a new goal. And I think it's possible. Yeah. I have a new goal. Therefore, I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. So all that the Father has is Jesus's, and the Spirit delivers what he hears from the Father and the Son who are on the same page that you must be saved. And I agree with, with, with Pastor Rake on this. He will convict them of judgment, namely that the, the judgment in the ruler of this world having been condemned as much as possible as because, since, and on account of. So, I hear the chimes, which means it's 12. Um, there is another way to keep um, dear um, Pastor um, Finker from chapter 18, my absolute favorite chapter, and that is to just slow down, you crazy child. You're too ambitious for a juvenile. You never see what you want, but you can't always see what you're. Uh, you never see when you're wrong, but you can't always see when you're right. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stop it for today at verse um, sixteen, which is itself another pericope. Um, I want to direct you to store.higherthings.org to support this ongoing. Um, project to dare you to be Lutheran, this little company that could. And so you want this mug or you want stuff like it. And, and you know what to dare to be Lutheran means. To dare to be Lutheran does not mean to dare to be more Lutheran than someone else. As if they're kind of Lutheran, quasi Lutheran, the diet Coke of Lutheran, just one calorie of Lutheran, not Lutheran enough. That's not the way we play here. Now, to dare to be Lutheran means to dare someone to believe that salvation is by grace alone, received by faith alone, from Scripture alone. That's what it means. And Felicity's got a shirt. So you want to go to store.hirethings.org and get that stuff today. Also, if, if you've already got that stuff, don't fret about it. Don't fret about it. You can go to hirethings.org slash giving and just skip the merchandise entirely and give today. A tax-deductible gift keeps the gospel in the ears of our church's youth. Have a blessed day. 
I'm going to go collect myself. And tomorrow I promise to know exactly where we stopped and where to start. Thanks for, thanks for coming along on the ride. Have a great day.